always like to just jump right into it. This is a 613 wig bob from Amazon. I didn't care too much for the wig, so I didn't give you guys the vendor information. We are going to coat the lace with conditioner just to make sure that we don't get color onto the knots. Any conditioner that you have at home is fine to use. You can use a spruce brush or your hands to spread the conditioner over the lace. After a while, I started to make a mess, so I just used my fingers to just spread it across. You don't have to use a lot of conditioner. Just make it thin and even across. I did use a lot, so it took a longer time for it to dry than it would have if I were to just use thin layers going across. Once the lace is fully coated, you can go ahead and start to dry. You will know when it is dry when the lace is stiff. Sometimes I will do this step the night before just because to me the conditioner takes longer versus if you was just to use the got to be spray. I didn't use boiling hot water, I just used hot water from my sink. We are going to use the Adore Cotton Candy Color. Once you pour it in, go ahead and stir it around to make sure there's no clumps in the water from the color. You're going to go ahead and dip your wig inside. I like to dip, sometimes I like to just set it in there for a couple seconds, but because I want a light color, I'm just going to dip it and do it fast and sometimes put it in there for like two seconds to make sure I get the tracks that's at the bottom of the wig. The wig itself is short, so it's not going to take long for the color to stick. Make sure you go through and see if you've missed any parts to where it would leave white tracks or hairs on the lace. The water got a little cold, so I just poured some out and added new water. I added more color to it as well. It had got light from me pouring out the water, so I knew I was going to have to add more color into it so we can finish up the top. Still making sure I don't see any missing spots. I can still see a little bit of whiteness at the top. 
not just from the conditioner but I can see it underneath on the knot as well so I'm gonna let it sit and then check on it again afterwards Finally okay with how it looks so we can go ahead take it out dry it and style I did add a picture of what it looks like and the final result if you would like to see how I styled and apply this wig click the link below if you like this video like and subscribe to my channel